Hi, I'm Tim Robo, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Today I'm going to review my modified uh, Quiet Cat Ibex. Not a whole lot of modifications for it. This is my second Quiet Cat bike I've had. I had the Jeep, Jeep Rubicon. Uh, sold that and kind of missed that platform, but I thought I would go with um, their Ibex because it's good, got a little bit longer chainstay in the rear, which makes it easier to climb. And I think the front geometry is pretty close, but it does feel a little bit more roomy for me. So one of the things that I did right off the bat is uh, got rid of the wheels and tires that came on this. Uh, hard to make tubeless. And I went with these ICANN F660s. Now these are a narrower 26 inch fat bike wheel and uh, real easy to uh, make tubeless and it's working out really great. I've paired it with the Maxxis Minions and you got the front pattern here. And then in the back is a back specific I don't think it would matter if you ran either either of those. And then as you see, I've converted to a nine speed with the SRAM Eagle drivetrain and the expensive uh, $110 chain. Just, you know, the spike is about 80 pounds. So it really, um, it needs a good chain on it. What they provide you from the factory is not good enough in my opinion. Uh, while I was doing the wheels, I did uh, the full floating disc. I just got those in and just getting them bedded. I'm able to do a stoppy now uh, versus I couldn't before. Um, fork on this bike works really well. Um, better than the same exact fork. So it must have a better setup on it uh, from the factory because I haven't really messed with this one very much. Uh, as far as mileage on this bike, um, I'm at 16 miles on the Santa Ana River Trail coming down here to Fairmont Park and it's already turned itself off but i'm at 82 percent battery so i think you can get 50 miles out of this riding on eco um on eco one i tend to get right at uh about 22 miles an hour and i'm running about 135 heart rate um i put some amazon platform pedals on it but let's talk about one of the main reasons i wanted this bike so starting january i'm moving into the uh adventure expedition truck full-time i'm selling off everything at the house and i'm going to be on the road for these next two five ten years whatever i can get away with so as i'm sitting down and, and penciling off things on my list of what i'm not going to take i came to this bike and that was the number one thing i picked to take because this bike works well whether you're riding on a bicycle trail or if you're uh out in the mountains climbing mountains rocks boulders streams uh, this is the number one go-to bike at 82 pounds. I feel like it actually rides like a bicycle and has plenty of power There's uh, two power settings on this eco and I think it's a one through five And then it's like a sport one through five I believe and uh, I hardly ever ride it in sport I did a little bit when I was out in the Salton Sea I got stuck in some some softer sand like glamis type sand and uh, this bike pulls right through it, uh, really makes it a rideable, neat platform. So it's somewhere in between like a good uh, high performance bicycle and maybe like a Chiron. Um, it's a good blend. Uh, you don't get looked out by the police on the streets riding it. Um, let's go. Uh, another of the mods I did, I got the dropper seat post from... Um, quiet cat and then i put this uh, seat on it i really like this seat it's got the bend down on it um and it's got the most padding out of all of these and it's leather holds up well i have those on all of my bikes so if we come up here to the handlebars you can see that i've put the dropper post on the left where the throttle used to be it makes more sense to put the throttle on the right hand side that took a little bit of doing and a little bit of packaging i've uh, modified the throttle a little bit and i modified the shifter a little bit so everything doesn't have an interference fit and it's super close and super nice um yeah the layout on this bike is just really um i couldn't think of anything else that i would really want maybe longer travel suspension although i haven't used all of this um i believe that's a rock shock monarch shock in there um it's got, uh, I think, two modes, and it's working out. I ride this bike open. I ride this um, unlocked, and it's got enough power and everything. Um, another thing with these fat bike wheels is I find that if you're going to go up a transition, say you're going to, there's a curb here, 
and you're gonna step up that sideways that that fat tire bike really eats that up and as well as um, like curbs and stuff I tried that right here when we got here it wasn't a high curb kind of like this one we see across the street in red um, and I just slammed into it and the bike sucked it up and went right up and over it I haven't tried to bunny hop this bike yet. I think with it unlock, I can probably bunny hop it, but I think I'm gonna come up short with the rear wheel. I am running uh, 25 pounds in the front and 30 in the rear. That seems to be really, really good to, going back to that thin tire, uh, thin rim to make that tire really bulge. So it gives you it just like if you're riding on the trail, it gives you that right there that you're basically riding on until you wear it out anyway. Um, as this bike comes, I probably give it about an eight, um, shifting and everything was okay. It kind of had cheaper components on it, but now that I'm running this setup, um, in my opinion, uh, this bike for what it is, is a perfect 10. I don't see, um, some hair in my eye. I don't see it, um, getting any better than what it is. I think it's good. It's ready to load in the truck. I get back, I'll wipe it down. Uh, wipe down the chain, put some lube on the chain, charge it, um, charges off the expedition truck, and um, I think it's uh, ready to go. So it's definitely one of those things that's uh, to think about. I think a lot of us for a high performance mountain bike uh, miss this platform. And if I had to have just one bicycle that I was going to take around the United States and ride bicycle trails, uh, the river runs through towns, parks, cities. Um, I think this is, well, this is my choice right there. So questions and comments, uh, please hit me up down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm not tied in. I have no relationship with Quiet Cat. So this is just an honest uh, review. I paid full price uh, for the bike. Um, and the same thing with the ICANN wheels. I paid uh, full price for those. Everything pretty much came off of uh, Amazon other than the original purchase of the bike. But uh, highly recommend it. I'm looking forward to uh, traveling. Uh, if you uh, like this kind of thing and you're still with me, hit like and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And if you have questions or comments, hit me up down below. That's going to be it for now. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.